A very Merry Christmas to the Bobcat Nation from the Bobcat Sports Showcase. I'm Pat Chiesa, coming to you from the Shreveport Convention Center. And whether they wanted to or not, inclement weather forced the Ohio football team to practice behind these doors this morning. Only three days separate Ohio from their Independence Bowl matchup against the University of Louisiana Monroe. Here's what a few of the players had to say. So I guess the one plus of you guys practicing indoors, you got to wear this uh, magnificent <laughs> cutoff shirt here, but <laughs> is, is it different practicing indoors? Do you guys think you're restricted in regard to what you can get done? Uh, not really, not quite as much as you would think, really. You know, um, we, we really stuck together. It was kind of a curveball in our schedule, but uh, everyone picked it up and uh, picked up the ball and went with it. So uh, in, in more terms than one, but. Uh, you know, in, in, in the convention center, we, you know, we worked hard, got all the plays done, we moved around and uh, got a little bit of a sweat going too, so it's, it was a good time. You know, not, not being able to uh, run around and cut and, you know, have some, some full contact, uh, um, you know, that kind of hinders and, um, you know, doesn't allow us to do what we want to do, but it, just still being out here and, and getting a chance to run some plays and uh, run around just a little bit, uh, you know, has always beneficial. What's the focus level of this team right now? You haven't played an, an actual game for quite some time. Would you say this team's focused more oh, than need to be? I, I feel like we're extremely focused. Um, you know, being the, the fourth straight bowl game that we've been to, we have a little bit of experience, um, especially how to take everything that comes to you. And uh, I think we have that to our advantage. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, we we went, we came in here for one reason. We come in here to go to get a bowl win. You know, second consecutive. Uh, so you know, I feel for the most part, uh, our team is focused and ready to play. Is it good to kind of have this break, maybe because you guys have kind of been on a downslide a little bit to kind of get away from everything and regroup and come out firing against ULM? Yeah, this, this break definitely helped us out because, uh, you know, uh, for the, a lot of players had injuries, so all them little nicks and everything, uh, a lot of players are, are healthy again. You know, Gerald Moore's back. Um, Tremaine, he, he should be playing this game. Uh, you know, my shoulder's feeling a whole lot better. Back's feeling a whole lot better. So I think the break really helped us out, and uh, hopefully we can be 100% for this game. I got to ask you, how's your thumb, too? I know you were playing with some ligament damage. Is that any better? I mean, kind of sleeping on it a little bit? Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's the best it's going to get. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to have uh, postseason surgery on it, so that'll, that'll fix it up. But uh, it, it's probably around 85% now, so that's probably the best it's going to get. What are your thoughts on playing in this bowl game? I know I'm sure you'll have some uh, family friends coming down. It's about six hours from Norman. Uh, a good team in Yale Monroe. Are you, are you pleased with where you guys are right now? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, any, anytime you can make a bowl game and, uh, you know, I always say just have another opportunity to, to play is, uh, you know, something special. And, and especially for me, you know, being right here, this is probably the closest I'm ever going to get to mm -hmm. play in front of my, my, my whole family. So I have, I have a bunch of people coming down. And, um, you know, I just want to, um, you know, show them a good time and, um, you know, hopefully come out with this win and um, you know go home and celebrate Christmas and do all that stuff. Looking across the table, this is Yo Monroe's first bowl appearance. You guys obviously coming off the win last year. Uh, Adding to that, you kind of have a chip on your shoulder having lost three straight, but you say that that kind of gives you guys an edge a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. And, um, you know, we, we really want to come out and, um, you know, off some good rest. And, you know, we got some guys back and we really want to come out and, um, you know, be clicking. And, um, you know, we want to win this game. So I, I think all the guys are, are fired up and, um, you know, they're ready. And, um, you know, like just like I said, and I keep talking about, you know, to end the season on a good note and to get some momentum going to the offseason is, is going to help a lot. And, um, you know, that's what we're looking for. So, you know, everyone wants to end on a win. Um, that's, that's the thing that goes around for everyone. That's, the, you know, the standard. So um, I think we're hungry for it, and uh, I'm excited to see how we match up against them. So. Yeah, this time away obviously gives guys the opportunity to get more healthy. Are mm -hmm. you noticing that, that guys oh, maybe yeah. they weren't playing before? You in particular yeah. were, were hurt at the Kent State game. I'm sure you feel a lot better. Yeah, yeah, extremely better. Uh, hopefully we get a lot of guys back, and, uh, you know, we're just going to have to work hard. And, and, you know, however the cards fall, then we're just going to play with them. So. Lastly, anything you're looking to do offensively, maybe change a little bit, tinker with, uh, to try to get the job done? Um, well, they're a really good sound defense and, uh, you know, they play a lot of man and can try to load a box. So, um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, we're going to have to try and throw it around a little bit. And, you know, we have some playmakers that can go up and make some plays. And, um, you know, whenever the chance is there for them to make a play, they, they've got to do it. And, um, you know, but really not really tinkering with much, you know, just um, kind of uh, trying to execute what we have been doing and, um, you know, just go out there and uh, just try and make plays when they're, they're needing to be made.